Hi everyone, this is a video about JDB BMS 16S 100 amp for LIFO 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 2.2 volt. So I have all those body on LIFO, all those body the LIFO 2.2 volt is a A123 system battery that I have from NEC I believe and I bought it from a pack yeah NEC from this pack and I was able to split it and I have several videos on this if you guys were interested and go subscribe or check my videos you will see I see all the videos that I have there and those batteries they pretty they perform pretty well okay so I put the BMS on it and since then I've been monitoring the batteries my advice to every one of you guys, if, you, if you're putting a system battery like this or uh, any type of system battery that you need to monitor it, you need to get it a decent BMS. I have tried Dali, I have tried some other ones. And I believe this is not bad. Will I recommend this? Well, let me show you something. This is a box that I received not too long ago. I purchased more. There's two of them in there. Okay, I purchased two of them. So, but well, if you follow me, you're gonna see more of those, in more of those BMS into play. You're gonna find more of those into play because I'm putting two of them here. I'm putting another one right here, and I'm taking one back home in Haiti, and because I have a water company, here's a, I'm using a battery. And this thing gonna be running them. Probably got a big set of body like this to run the whole entire company. But this the the idea of this video is for how good this thing is. Well he monitored all the cell for me. Yes it did. Monitor all the cell. Okay. It tells me how much power I'm taking. And also how much I'm putting in. Okay. How do I know that? This is what I do. I know exactly. Right now I'm not charging. If I'm not charging. So if you turn this thing off. You're not charging. So you can tell. You see how much power you're taking. I got zero charge coming in. Zero. So I have one amp. I'm taking one amp out of the battery. So, this is one amp. Why when I'm charging, it's more? That I don't know. It's still the same thing. It's fluctuate. Okay? So, to find out how much you're taking from your household or whatever you're using the battery for, you take this thing off. It tells you how much you're taking when you have everything running. Okay, when I have everything running, I have two lights and the inverter. I got two lights and the inverter and the regulator is running off of this. Oh, those, two, those are two lights. It tells me I'm taking about a one amp of the battery. Okay, now if you're not try, if you're not using the the inverter, it will tell you I can't turn it off because if I turn it off, everything will turn off. Let me turn off for two seconds, see how much I'm charging. Because it's 7 a.m. There's no charge I'm taking, I'm putting on the battery. Let me see. Let me see. Let me go somewhere else and see this. Alright, for a quick second. Let me go to this. This is uh, my, my MTP controller. I'm putting two amp on the battery. I'm putting two amps on the battery. I must be, I must be using more. Oh, I'm using only, that's what it is, I'm putting two amps, so it's, this give me the difference. Okay, so it's just balance the whole battery. It does do that, it balance the whole battery. This is, it works pretty good. Okay, and it has a history, which is a good thing. The history it's a good thing but one thing I noticed on the history it doesn't give you 24 24 hours let me see 29 
They still give you 30. They still do. You think you have to open this often. I'm not sure how to use the history. So the surfer is pretty good. We run pretty good. It does balance the battery. As you notice, this is my balancing level. Okay. So now, how did I put them together? I use this. That's a 22 gauge wire. It's it's by coincidence. This is to be my fuse. The battery has a fuse, which is 22 gauge wire. How did I discover the fuse? Because something did happen. While I was doing it, um, well, one wire touched the wrong side of the in a different wire and the thing blew. The wire cut off in two. So that's how I know it's my fuse. That's by coincidence, I didn't know what I was doing, I just plug it in. But it just happened one wire touched the other one, the thing just pop. So if any wires, and I try it again, I did it on purpose, I didn't do it on camera, I will be doing it on camera to test the fuse. That's something, sometime back home I'm gonna be doing this. So I will have all the videos, you guys will see how this thing tend to be a fuse. BMS working 100%. This doesn't have the big range. If I'm inside, I'm in the garage right now. I'm in the garage. As you can see, I'm in the garage. Going back inside the house, I have to be on the right side of the on the left side of the house to be able to get connection. So it's not doesn't give me that great that great connection when I'm on the living room. Okay, that's the part I don't like about the the. Yes, this is the other part I don't like. I'm not sure how this thing works. They give me a voltage. I don't know how often it update itself. Okay. But it does balance the battery. When I'm at, when I've got a high voltage, when I'm charging very high, when I get to 54. 54 this cell you tend have a tendency to break away this 13 six number six cell has a tendency to break away number 13 has a tendency to to drag so I believe I couldn't be able to see there was it's probably a pack was doing this one of the pack has a cell or a connection was not great is doing this so when I'm putting this pack together, I'm gonna have a new video to show you how to put the pack together, and how to monitor them while you're building the pack. So you're gonna make sure the packs run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it by, by three. I'm gonna set those three pack for one hour, and so what, two to one to three hours, and watch it. And if it's everything balanced, and I do the same thing. I have three more. Right now I have six packs to put, to put together. Yeah, the six pack, which is about three kilowatt. So I should be going. I should increase the size of the battery. Thanks to the BMS, I was able to locate this inverter is broken. The voltage is wrong. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna check it. Show you the voltage is wrong. This inverter was was if you watch my previous video, it was I was using it in the house. While I was using it, I was watching this. The microwave, when I turn the microwave, this thing go to 50. When my boiler come in, the, the, the water heater come on, it gave me about 30 amp. The water heater is not, the water heater is not, is not electric, electric, but it has a motor. When the motor come on, it's 39. 39, 40, I have seen it work. So I forgot to turn the water heater so I let this thing run. My my um, my microwave was on. My other heater was on. This thing spiked. Yes, you see the voltage, forty six. This thing spiked to it spikes to eighty eight. Then I was doing a video. Don't know what happened is uh, in the middle of the video. 
I couldn't figure this thing out. So I think a video is supposed to take 24 hours. The videos take at least five days. So I have to look at where the problem come from. You know, so I didn't open this. I checked the voltage. I'm going to show you guys the voltage. After checking all the wires, everything in the house, and also I had a, 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 a smelling, a burn, like a burn. Something's burning, like wire burning. I couldn't find no wire that burn. It was an overload on the photo for this thing here. I was overload this thing. Then I did it on burn. I didn't, I didn't do it on purpose. I wanted to know how fast, how far can it go. When I went to here, I think on the 18 or the 18 or the 19. Okay. This is the 19. I got no spark. I think it could be on the 18 or the 16. I had here. 30, uh, 88 amp. You take 88 amp by, by 52. When we die, it was at 52 voltage. 88 amp times 52 is about close to 5,000 watt. I'm taking from the 3,000 inverter. I believe that's what killed the inverter. And because I checked all the wires, no, nothing burned, even though I had a smell, of a burn smell. Uh, a smell that smelled like burn. I had that on a... Uh, in the house, I couldn't locate it. I have a couple transformer, a transformer that's burned also. Like my doorbell stopped working because I believe when this thing goes back, when I turn it back on, it couldn't stay on. The reason it couldn't stay on, the voltage is too low. But for some reason, my light doesn't that doesn't matter. So I was able to locate the problem with this. Okay, where is this? Come on. I was I was able to look at the power means. I was able to see what goes on inside the battery. By looking at that and that and check the lag. I didn't save the lag. This thing didn't save. Because this thing give me a I don't know why it doesn't save it. So this lag doesn't save. Okay, so that's the only problem I have with this little BMS is just because of the lag. The lag, the lag is not, it's pretty good if you're reading it constantly. This is how I was able to locate the problem. If I didn't have a BMS, I would never know what went wrong. Okay. So my advice to all of you guys, if you have a system, he has more than two batteries and you're doing something in your house or yeah, they've got a good decent DMS. Will I recommend this? As I told you, I have to do more work on it to see if I can recommend this. I see a few things I don't like. The software is a problem when you to get the right software. I just download the software here because I was trying to get an update to get a better software. Now I have I have the software here. Okay, this is one. I just download this. This is actually some nonsense. I jump it. It won't connect. Because this one is connected, this thing will not connect. This is a default connection. So I'll probably play around if it get a better software, better than this. You see, it failed. It will not connect because this one's connected. And this software can be, this software, I can have multiples connected to it. This one require a password. This one doesn't require a password. If you have a default password, you just take it directly. Take it directly. So, I'm not too happy about the software. Not too happy about it. The new one. So I gotta try and download other ones. And on my next video, I'll give you an update if I got a better software. Um, this is about the BMS, JDB BMS, how good it works. It helped me locate a problem that I didn't know where it was. If for the BMS, I wouldn't locate it. I will, not, I will not be able to locate it because when you get to a house you smell burn you don't see where the burning coming from i think the burns coming from the fridge then i have to redo the same thing again the power drop then i, I realize it's, it's a voltage then i came in i checked the voltage let me check the voltage for you guys guys this is the ac meter this is the ac meter I take it directly from. Oh boy. Okay. This thing 
Oh four supposed to read. From the AC meter supposed to read sixty. I don't know why it doesn't read sixty. Fifty nine sixty. This is what's been going on. So I'll show you guys how this thing works. I take a I take a meter, this AC volt, they give me this. The AC voltage give me fifty-nine and it's supposed to be hundred and twenty. This is supposed to be hundred and twenty volt. So I was able to locate that by knowing my my charges went up too high at 88. I take 88, 88 amp times 52 at that time. It gave me over close to 5,000 watts. And this is a 3,000 watt inverter. Most likely on the AC side, something's burned. Thanks to this BMS, I was able to locate that. Okay, if I didn't have the BMS, I couldn't tell what went wrong. Okay, so it serves to show you the charges. Right now I'm charging. Whatever the, the, the current I'm using, you see, whatever the current I'm using is not enough to over to, to take. In other words, I'm, I'm, I'm producing more than, than burning. Right now I'm equal, whatever I'm producing is what I'm burning. By 10 o'clock, this thing gonna spike because the sun gonna be out on my solar panel. All right, guys, this is the end of this video. I hope this is not taking too long. It's entertaining you. If it does, please subscribe. I have more video, more a lot more video. My channel is about everything that I do, including fun stuff. And please share, subscribe, and comment, share and like. That will help the channel a lot and you'll get to see my other videos i got a lot more and from the diy batteries i got a lot more coming up because this 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 side of the battery is going to be packed it's only the beginning okay see you guys soon i have another video to do make today at least two or three videos for today